Right, okay. Hello and welcome to the webinar. I'm going to give you all a few minutes to get signed in, get comfortable, grab a drink, a notepad, a pen. Um, okay, so let me just have a little look, and find out where the questions are and get ready for this exciting webinar. Um, oh, hi Cassie. Me too, super excited, glad you can join us. So, who is this webinar for, webinar for? Anyone currently in the industry of stripping, lap dancing, pole dancing, whatever label you wanna give it, and wants to step up their game and make more money without working extra hours. And added praise to those girls that's on here is it's not easy to ask for tips and tricks when you've been doing this for a while, trust me, I know. Um, tell me, girls. So, how long have you been dancing? Give me a few messages on the screen. Let's see how long you've how long you've been in this industry. Anyone? Oh, Fifi from Vegas. You've been dancing one year. Excellent, Fifi. I hope you're enjoying it so far. Ah, and yes, you're in good hands. Uh, Candy from Atlanta. Eight years. Wow, nice, Candy. I'm sure you can teach a few of our newbies a trick or two. And um, speaking of newbies, do we have anyone just starting out thinking about dancing for the first time? Uh, oh, hi, Sammy. Welcome. Great to have you here. Where are you from? Oh, Canada. Beautiful. Love Canada. Okay, let's crack on, girls. Um, so before we jump in, I want to share with you my mission for this webinar. Uh, we may have a couple of slides pop up on screen to make learning easier. If the tech all goes according to plan. Aha, there we go. So allow me to elaborate. Lexi's mission. Help me, help me, help you make more money tonight. Right, okay. So basically, end result, we want to make you more money in the club. So you can become financially free and exit to do whatever plan that you really want to do. So and we're going to start that fast. We're going to help you make more money tonight. Uh, restore your confidence in our industry and maybe even the education system as well. Uh, overcome any challenges that you have or that are preventing you from achieving your goals and most importantly, let's have some fun. Okay, so how does this work? Why listen to me? Okay, so before we start, I want to share with you, for those that don't know me yet, a little about my background how I'm so qualified enough to help you on this topic. Then I'm going to address as many of the questions that you've sent in. Thank you to everyone that took the time to do that. And last but not least, share with you a simple solution to your challenges and get you moving towards your goals, financial or otherwise. And I plan to do all of this in less than 30 minutes. So wish me luck. So, firstly, why listen to me? Um, I'm sure a few of you have read read up on or watched my story. For those that haven't, I was an exotic dancer for 10 years. I got into the industry because I found myself homeless and needed to make money fast. That's usually the reason that most of us get in to make fast cash. Um, for years, I thought I was doing okay until I went to a new club and watched how much you can really earn. I was basically trading Pokemon cards in comparison to some of these women. Anyways, long story short, I decided to watch and learn how they was doing it. Some of the things I used to watch these girls do, I remember one of them would just sit and put makeup on the guy's face while he paid her £500 an hour. These girls were being bought jewellery and designer shoes. Honestly, I wanted in. So I worked my butt off to learn the millionaire's strippers' secrets. And before long, I became one of them and was helping other girls achieve the same results. This game really is easy when you know how. Uh, I'm not just saying... I'm not saying I'm a stripper guru uh, with all the answers. I'm just saying this is how I made my fortune and I'd be happy to show you how you can too. So if you're ready to find out some of these secrets and become a money magnet like we did, keep watching. Okay, so let's take a look at some of these questions that you've sent in. Uh, right, Ava from New Jersey. Let's start with your question. So, Ava is asking, what's the best way to upsell to the champagne room? 
Right. Okay. Okay, Eva. Let's do this. So let me break this down. When, where, why, how. Firstly, when and where. There are three opportunities to upsell your dance to the champagne room. Before a dance, after a dance, or the most effective, and which we're going to discuss right now, is during your dance. Well, to be more specific, just at the, as you come into the end of a dance. Why? This is the time when it's still in his dance trance, a euphoric state, still turned on and high on hormones, and easily influenced. I can give you all the science behind this, but I think it might be a little bit heavy on a first question. So let's save that for later. So now you know when and where, what's next? Body positioning. It's more important than people realize. If you are to ask him while standing, this can come across as intimidating or challenging. This is not going to com this is not going to get you the answer that you want. Unless he's submissive, uh, this is a completely new topic for another time <laughs> that we're not going to go into right now. Um, if he was to ask when you are on the floor, then you're lower than him. You're giving him the power, the authority, um, and you become the dis dismissive, which hardly ever works. Um, however, if you were to position your body at the same level as he, but remember, this is still during your dance, you will meet him on par, a worthy opponent, mom, opponent one might say, um, in the masculine mind, uh, but building equality, equal, oh, equality, equality, oh gosh, now I'm getting, basically you're going to be equal and re build respect and trust. Can't get my words out today. Oh, live. Um, if you're small, this is easy, but if you're six foot ladies out there, like me, it becomes a little tricky. I find myself with one knee on the couch, the other on the floor, and wrapping my body around, and, oh, watch that light behind me, uh, body around and supporting my weight with my arm. And this is the key. I got the key, I got the secret. Okay, make your mouth close enough to his ear that you can whisper your offer. I would say something along the lines of, I don't want to stop, shall we stay longer? Or, I really love dancing for you, it's not often I get to dance for a man I'm attracted to. Or simply, do you want to stay? Followed by, well, we can make it more private or exclusive or naughty. Choose the adjective according to your customer. Uh, for example, if he's a bit of a purr, say naughty. But... It's uh, it's not really what you what you say, but how you say it. Say it slow, softly. Make your breath heavy, and pronounce your S and your T's as though you're about to say something really filthy into his ear. It may need some practice at home, and I'm sure your men won't mind being the guinea pigs. Just don't tell them you're practicing for work. Ava, I really hope that helps you get your upsell tonight. Please keep us posted on your results. Thanks for your question. So next, uh, la, 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 la. let's answer Kim from London. Kim's question is, I hate going on the pole, and even more when I don't get a dance. How can I avoid the pole or make it worthwhile? <laughs> oh, I understand completely, Kim. Um, majority of us do not like the pole, but highly recommend it, not missing it, um, as it's your shop window, a chance to get noticed, and more importantly, sell your dance. So how do we do that? Um, three steps. One, grab his attention. Two, Program the mind. Three, keep his attention. Now, your song choice is your best friend when it comes to the poll. Consider your audience and grab their attention. Are they old, young? Choose a song from their decade as they will know it. And people like it when they can hum, sing or tap along. It's familiar and helps them feel comfortable. Okay, but to get even more strategic with your song choice. Not many dancers know this, only the very rich ones, but simple auto-suggestion or subliminal messaging can really help your sell. We actually only use, sorry, we actually use 95% of our subconscious, which is the automatic part of the brain, um, and 5% of our conscious, which is our choice, our thinking part of the brain that makes us choose things. 
Um, so tap into his subconscious, the 95%, with your song choice. For example, if I was wearing red, which was often, um, and my audience were 30 to 50s, I would dance to Lady in Red. Think about the lyrics. Lady in Red is dancing with me. Very subtle, but very sly. But what can I say? It works. Or perhaps if my crowd was younger, um, I'm in love with a stripper. I still have a former regular that messages me when he hears that song, programming the mind. Um, now, once you've all set up and you have their attention, you need to learn how to hold their attention and have all eyes on you. So how do we do this? A simple but effective secret I call pole trance. This is one of the most powerful ways you can guarantee a dance each time you take the stage. And I go further deeper into this topic in the professional strip system, my full course. Now, when you're on the pole, choose one customer from the audience and lock eye contact with him. Own him with your gaze. Not in a creepy stalk way, but by turning on your charm, make him feel your intoxicating feminine energy. Flirt, play with your hair, bite your lip. Make him feel as though he is the only man in the room and you're dancing for him. In short, put him in your pole trance. Um, what I like about this is there's no need to be an aerial gymnast or a pole trickster. This is... <laughs> <laughs> tricks to, for this to be successful basically um you can simply walk around one thing i've learned over the years is uh, that even if you master moves like the downward splits it really doesn't mean anything without engaging and connecting with your audience now with this tip i usually get asked what about the other clients in the room won't they get jealous and the answer is well hopefully don't worry about whoever else is watching. Even if they notice what you're doing, it will make them want to receive the same treatment. Curiosity will get the better of them and they'll not only start to wonder... Okay, my apologies there. I've got things popping up. Let me put this on silent. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, basically the curiosity is going to get the better of them and they're going to want to be a part of this whole pole transfixed guy and they're going to want to be the next guy. So then, once you step off the stage, keep that focus and alluring energy and confidently walk over to your entranced customer. He'll likely ask you for a dance before you get a chance to even say anything. However, if you're still transfixed, ask him if he's enjoying your pole show and let him know it's about to get a lot more intimate in your office. If he has the money, he's ready to go. If he doesn't, he'll be figuring out a way to get it. In short, if you have tranced him correctly, He's yours for the taking. Keep, keep my apologies. Uh, Kim, please keep us posted on your poll trans success. Um, okay, who is next? Sydney. What's the worst situation you've ever been in from dancing? Um, what do you mean by this one, honey? Do you mean in dangerous or gross? Okay, so most dangerous. Uh, most dangerous when I was leaving the club in Birmingham in the UK and some guys followed me and my friend to the car then <laughs> after getting rid of them some random guy jumps out the shadows and tries to open my car door luckily I had already locked it lesson here is always get a bouncer to escort you to your car or at least be with another girl not on your own as there's some serious weirdos lurking but I guess there is weirdos everywhere to be honest don't get put off newbies um and gross situation. Uh, oh my god, there's been so many. Uh, but this one I danced for smelt. Oh god, oh god, it was so quite big as well. It smelt so bad of piss. Oh god, oh, it makes me gag just thinking about it. Um, and he was sticking his tongue out, and trying to lean towards me. Oh my god, we get so many of them. Anyway, moving on, Mitty from Melbourne. <laughs> Thanks for your question. Um, so what's the best line you use to get a guy to dance? Oh, uh, honestly, I've never been much of a one-liner. Um, I have great witty comebacks for guys, but not to open. However, my friend has a camel tattooed on her toe and a moustache on her finger. And after she starts them laughing with that, um, she then drops the line, I have a lawnmower trimming my bush. Do you want to see? <laughs> 
<laughs> and it's a tattoo of a lawnmower, like, trimming a... a stri oh, my God, I find it hilarious. Anyway, it still cracks me up. But, yeah, that's probably the best lines I've heard. Um, okay, I'm moving on and trying to get as many of your questions answered as possible. Uh, right. Oh, we've just had one pop up. Uh, Miss D, Las Vegas. Nice. Okay. Uh, what's the most embarrassing thing you've ever done in the club? Wow. Okay. Well, let's say there's been a few. Um, most embarrassing. Okay, Miss D, most embarrassing. Well, my shoe came off on the pole and smacked a guy in the face. Hmm. I leaked my period on a guy's lap. I fell off the pole, tripped on my knickers and fell flat on my face during a dance. The funny thing is, most of these, like, gone, go wrongs and, um, X clouds, you know, like, you know, the, it's the end of the reel on a movie where things that went wrong. Um, most of them, the customers found that entertaining. I got tipped big. Maybe I should have been the comedian stripper. Um, but I think the most embarrassing was probably walking around all night with my luminous white tampax string hanging out of my vagina. And did I mention it was in a club that I was new to and I was on my own? Uh, yeah, lesson two, always check your string. Uh, who's next? Summer. Um, oh, it doesn't say where you're from, Summer. Never mind. We'll say Summer from Four Seasons. <laughs> okay, your question, Summer. Uh, what's the most you've ever made in one night from one customer? Okay. Okay, this is actually quite a funny story. My boss and former friend. Hmm, no, I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding, Dracula. Um... He actually sold me to dance on a yacht for £20,000. He did, um, he'd definitely been watching Demi Moore in striptease or something. Anyway, it turns out he charged the guy 10% surcharge for using his card and hadn't actually asked me before he took the payment. So after putting the Fruit Loop straight and saying, I'm not going on a random yacht, we decided on half price, 10000 to stay in the club and continue dancing. So that was it. Um, Alicia from Paris. Uh, is asking if I've ever slept with a man for money. Ooh, wow, Lizzie, that was straight to the point. Very personal. Um, I like it. <laughs> That's what this webinar is about. Let's make it juicy and interesting. But mm, I feel like I'm disappointing you on this one, Lizzie. Um, as I've never actually slept slept with anyone for money. Um, I never had to never cross that line. Never needed to. I made enough money shaking my booty. Um, I have friends that do though and do very well. One of them, she actually flies around on a prince's private jet um, and just has his platinum Arex to do with as she pleases. However, flip side of the coin, I've also heard some awful stories as well that I'm not going to share. Um, so yeah. Uh, okay, next, Sasha. How much do oh sorry what? How much did you make on your first night dancing? Oh right okay um. I can't actually remember how much I made on my first night dancing. I, uh, I know how much I made on my first weekend. I remember going down on Thursday on the train. I worked Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, no, sorry. I worked Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and travelled back on the Sunday. And after all my expenses, food, accommodation, commissions, etc., I came out with about 300 quid. So for three days' work, my first three days, I made 300 quid total. At the time, I thought that was bloody brilliant. Now I realise it, not so much. <laughs> okay. Um, this person's got no name, but is asking, how do I prevent a guy from touching me? Uh, this one... Everyone should know. Um, and there's no right or wrong, just different techniques. Uh, what I want you to avoid doing is telling him off verbally like a child. Men hate men hate to be told off. The wives do that, not the sexy strippers. Um, so I use a three-strike rule. Uh, first time he does it, I will smile and firmly direct his hands away. Second time, um, he needs warning. But in a flirty way, you can't... You can't touch me, only I can touch you. Or if you touch me again, I will have to stop the dance as it's me that will get in trouble. Um, and you don't want that, do you? Or cameras are watching and I get fined if you touch. Unless you want to pay the fine, it's... And then say something ridiculously expensive. Um, and he was to stop. Oh, I can hear my dogs barking outside. Sorry, I'm in my house in England. And the dogs are barking outside. But there you go. I can't really shut them up now. Um... And remember, anyway, it's not what you say, but how you say it. Smile as you're saying it. And 
If he does it again, stop the dance, put on your clothes and politely say you warned him and get the bouncer if you need to. Right, next, da -da -da -da. Tracy from the UK. Um, what do you, I do if the club is empty? Ah, Tracy, this is a difficult one as it's out of your control. To help support the club and your income, you could do a few empty club prevention strategies uh, to get customers in, like when you're out having a drink on your night off, maybe with girls, hand out discount cards or flyers to groups of guys to get them in. Uh, write your name on them as well and tell them, tell the guys to ask for you. Um, or check in on social media, on your stage name profile. It has to be a stage name profile. Girls, this is important. Like You can get some serious talkers in this industry. Um, warn regulars of when you're working at the club and keep your word. I used to send a group text out that sounded personal by using Hello Handsome at the start. Just make sure that you're there the nights that you say you're going to be. Um, I hope that helps, Tracy. Okay, one more question from... Mia? Maya? Mia? Maya? Maya in Spain? Hi Maya! Um, I really want to start but I've had two kids, sorry, I've had two kids and my booty isn't what it, oh god, getting my words on what I look say. Let's start again, sorry Maya. I really want to start but I've had two kids and my body isn't what it was. I have stretch marks and no one wants to pay to see that, do they? Oh Maya, yes they do! Oh, Maya, thank you so much for being honest and sharing something that, that so many women experience. First of all, stats say that over 50% of strippers have kids. And I have not heard of no miracle pill that you can take to not have baby stretch marks. So, firstly, you're not alone. Ah, oh, there you are. A bit of moral support from Kim there. She's had three kids too, Maya. See? And... Um, Maya, you've got to understand that variety is the key in these clubs and when you can understand that all men, like us, have a preference, one man's nightmare may be another man's goddess and looks, even in this industry, are an entry ticket, it's your inner beauty and sales techniques that's going to keep him in the VIP all night. Um, besides, there is plenty of outfits that can hide the bits that you don't like and accentuate the bits that you do like. So go for it, honey. It's the wisdom of the imperfections that make us beautiful. Oh, Tracy's popped up there as well. Thanks, Tracy. Um, okay, so that was the last question that we've got time for today, guys. Um, apologies to those of you that didn't get around to, but don't panic. You will get answered. So... There you have it, my answers to your questions. Let's take a look and see if we manage to succeed with the mission. Lexi's mission, help you make more money tonight. Well, I think you're definitely on the right track. Let's see what happens. Please keep me posted on your results, girls. I'd love to know. Um, restore your confidence in our industry. Well, now you've heard about some of the interesting stories, um, or maybe the amounts that I made, yes, your confidence hopefully will be restored. Um, overcome any challenges that you have uh, that you are that you have that are preventing you from achieving goals. Well, I answered some of your challenges and questions, so there we go. We definitely hit that one, and mostly importantly, have fun. Um, I'm definitely having fun. I hope you girls are too. Uh, but what I want you to understand is today we barely scraped the surface on the secrets to stripper success. However, as you stay committed and are still here, I'm going to let you in on the rest. Look, I know you probably expected me to pitch to you now. Um, and yeah, I'm a pro at selling to men. And being as you're all women, well, I hope you're all women, um, I'm not going to embarrass myself. Just let you know how you can get the secret sauce to all your questions. How would you like full access to the professional stripper system for less than a pair of Christian Louboutins? That's right, for less than a pair of routines, you can have access to all seven, seven information-packed modules. The entire course is delivered online through advanced learning mediums, including a combination of video, reading, and active exercises. A little bit like what we're doing now, um, just not live. Um, within just a few days of using the step-by-step -step techniques in the professional strip system, you'll have made back your initial investment several times over. This is my promise.
and you'll be able to easily afford several new pairs of Louboutins. How awesome is that? Yes, I'm in. Here's the best part. You can get your hands on it today for just £889 instead of our website price, which is £229. Actually, screw that. Tell me what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you the first 10 places for £150. That's £39 off. Real discount. I don't actually do this discount anywhere else. I'm not just blagging this. It's not a sales pitch. I'm literally just going for it. Why not? Let's do it. Practically giving the system away. Have I lost my mind? Let's not answer that because many people will answer that differently. Okay, my genius business partner, Jono, are you there? Can you make the offer appear for these beautiful lucky ladies, please? And seriously, ladies, if anyone is single and looking to mingle, <laughs> oh God, that's saying. Um, my business partner, Jono, is a bit of South African fillet steak with a great sense of humor to go with it. Anyway, matchmaking aside, let's get back to making you millionaire strippers. So if you want to be one of the lucky 10 to grab the offer, click the link. Are we on it, Jono? We got it up? Yes, we have it up. Okay, click the link now. Um, okay. Anyway, I'm going to spend this time sharing with you the professional stripper, what the stri professional stripper system includes. Oh, looks like a few have already been sold. Good effort, Sparkle. Okay, brilliant. Set the lead. Um, okay, so you're going to get seven full feature training models, modules containing over 50 information packed videos, including the popular bonus module, Mastering Your Health and Energy. Oh, Maya, that might be one for you too. Um, and amazing interview covering how to be a stripper but still have a healthy and loving relationship at home with expert Mr. Peter Sage. Have a little Google of him, he's an amazing man. Um, a signed certificate of graduation upon completion from the Lex Leaders Academy, personally signed by moi and recognised by many leading clubs around the world as the defiant NBA of stripping. And remember, I'm only offering the first 10 at 150, so get it quick. Imagine finally being able to be financially free and independent. Oh, imagine being able to have easily afford designer handbags, a beautiful home, a sexy car, and take that dream vacation with your kids. Oh my God, they are flying out. Better keep talking. Only four left. Get in there fast, girls. And I'm even going to give you a money back guarantee. So I'm assuming all the risk. It costs you almost nothing. Uh, okay. Oh my God, only two left. Girls. Wow, I'm going to give you another two minutes to grab them before we finish. Remember, this is the complete guide on how my friends and I became filthy rich. Do not miss out. Um, as I said, it's easy when you know how. Uh, the complete professional stripper system will teach you what to say to him to make him want you, how to dance using your body position as so you keep him engaged, how to keep him in the VIP all night, watch his body language to know what he's thinking, how to manage your money so it grows into a fortune, learn this, how to create raving fans and regulars, how to own the pole without having to do any tricks, set targets and reach them. Plus, by graduating the professional stripper system, you will get benefits from a variety of of clubs all over the world, such as priority bookings, um, cheaper floor fees, uh, commission rates. Oh, okay. It looks like they've all gone. Wow. Oh my God. Woohoo. I'm excited for my newest 10 candidates. Um, to everyone that didn't get the extra special rate, don't panic as we're still offering the complete package for 189 here now. Um, but it's your last chance to get it at this discounted price. This really is the best, like a really good offer. Um, don't miss out. You can still click it and get that offer today. Um, and on that note, I shall love you and leave you and look forward to hearing about all your stripping success. I really hope you had fun today and you enjoyed it. Mwah! Big love here from me, Lexi. And um, yeah, go out there and uh, start earning that money. <laughs>